Cruz, that's not your bag. Why are you on daddy's bags? Those are his packages with his helicopter. guys it's crystal and today we're gonna do the sham rocking gradient nails I don't know if that's gonna be the final title for this but it's the working title and at least I went through the effort of making a title this time so don't judge me okay to start this mani off I'm using my ready for takeoff peel off base coat from unt I only wore this mani for I think 10 12 hours because I had to work the next day and I always wear regular nail polish to work because it's just stronger and it keeps my nails from breaking more so this one unfortunately got the peel off instead of the regular. For my base polish color, I'm using Diamond from Damn Nail Polish. This bottle has to be shaken every time I do a little shot of it because it has such a bad fill line. I might actually share it in my Instagram story tonight when I post this video, I don't know. I'll let you guys know in the comments maybe. But I love this polish and it is my all time favorite silver hollow that I own currently. So I've been using it a lot. For my cuticle protecting, I'm using the Simply Peel Latex Barrier from Bliss Kiss. I actually found this bottle, I think, two weeks ago and started using it again. I used to have a refill bottle, but the refill bottle ended up dried up. I'm not sure how because the cap was on extremely tightly. And I didn't think I had any more small bottles of it, but I do. For the gradient, I'm using Emerald from Damn Nail Polish along with another green I really like, Peridot from Damn Nail Polish. And they're going together with the diamond to make that triple gradient that is just so pretty. It's not really an ombre because they're not all three green, but it's close enough that it goes really, really well together. I really didn't think these were gonna go well together at first. I thought that the Peridot was gonna be too lime to go with the emerald, but they work. I don't know how they just work I really really love these together and I don't even like green so that's saying a lot I'm gonna dab that on there when I dab this I did two layers because as you can see here when I'm done the first layer goes on really well but I'd gone a little too low on the nail so I wanted to put the second layer a little higher up so I get a little more of that silver from the diamond on here and really get the middle blended a bit more because I was seeing definite lines between the layers and I didn't want that. I wanted the colors to actually blend. And they were very beautiful. I'm using my Mont Blue tweezers from Twinkle Tea to pull off my Simply Peel. I love these tweezers. I've been using them for everything. Once I pulled them off, I did a little bit of off-camera cleanup. I didn't need to do much on this actually. But I did it with my number two cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea. It's my favorite cleanup brush. It's my go-to. And it made it all beautiful here. And then I put down more of my Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. Some people will do the gradient and then do the stamping and everything else and leave it on and do all their cleanup at the end. I have a hard time with that. I feel like it's not as easy to clean up, so I prefer to do it this way. For the stamping, I'm using the Holiday Faves Bundle Monster Extra Large 27 Plate. This cute little image in particular. This has a lot of cute little holiday designs. I kind of like it. My Vibin Stamping Polish from Twinkle Tea is the polish I'll be using. And of course my Extra Large Stainless Steel Stamper from Twinkle Tea that is my favorite stamper ever. Ever, ever, ever. You can see there's another St. Pat's design on this plate that I kind of like, but I kind of didn't like that much. So I went with my little Shamrocks. I might do something with the other design later, I don't know. But this plate has cute like Easter and it's got a little Valentine's design and some Christmas going on and some fall ones. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's a really good plate to have actually. I stamped that down beautifully. I actually almost missed the top of my nail with the stamping but I made it. Okay, just barely made it within the lines there. Once I've stamped and peeled, I'm going with my Get Your Shine On High Shine Quick Dry Top Coat from Vapid Lacquer just to make it all beautiful and smooth. I went in really well with this, but on the tip of the nail, I pushed the brush down and ended up making little streaks a little bit on the bottom. I was so mad. And I only did it on this nail. The other nails look great. Just this nail, the one nail I use for macros and everything, I smudged a little. 
but I can live with it. The design overall is gorgeous, and I didn't notice it that much until I was looking at my macros, but I'll live with it. I can deal. Let's, I'll just keep telling myself I can deal. Not going to get, you know, OCD over this. Just going to tell myself it's okay. But there you have it. Once you've done all that, you've got beautiful shamrock and nails for St. Pat's. Even if you're not that into St. Pat's like me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. All the items used are linked in the description box like always. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff, tutorials. And if you want to see me try a certain technique or a certain tutorial or anything else, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time.